into the second round of matches we go. Into the second round of matches we go over in Euro 2020 in the bottom half of the groups, of course. Is there any hope for these guys? But what about these guys? Any hope for the Germans? We'll take a little look. Nay. Nee. That's right, folks. Back once again with another prediction video today. We're taking a look at match number two, part two. Of course, take a look at, of course, the teams that make up D, E, and F. And we'll get to that in one second. If you're new, smash that subscribe. Get your bang up today with all things. Black and Rovers related. Euro 2020 related. Well, football, we're going all here under one Ruski. We are having some difficulties on the channel. Some guy is out there and he's shoving a pineapple up my arse, of course. Cannot do any lives at the moment. Hopefully, we'll be back next week. I can elaborate that on a separate video when I get the moment. But anyway, smash the subscribe. Check out the links down below on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook. And, of course, Patreon. A big, big shout-out to those patrons. But anyway, let's get going. Can the Germans bounce back? But what about England and Scotland in the Battle of Britain? Well, I get into the mix right here, right now. Uh, but before all that, we'll recap ourselves of what went on last time around. Here we go into the last round of matches. Let's jump in the deep end and have a little look. Okay, kicking it all off. It was Spain up against La Suede. 2-1 win was my pick, but unfortunately it was a nil-nil draw. No winners there, but I think you're probably your real winners was Sweden. Unfortunately, uh, yeah, the Spanish couldn't uh, deliver up top, and we'll have to go again. Into the second round. Second match, we got Poland up against Slovakia. 2-1 win for the Slovakians. Big surprise there for a lot of us. Uh, goal so I'm watching Chesney big fat OG, really. I think it's a bit harsh on the goal scorer there. Milner Skrimrav as well with the winner. Carol and he got a goal for Poland. Gregor Kosciuszczyk was the first man to be sent off in the Euros. Uh, England, I uh, got a 2 to win over Croatia. It's just the 1-0. Sterling with the goal. And, of course, the Scots uh, were humbled against the Czechs. It was the shick show. It was a shick show, boys and girls. Two to win for them. One, one for me. Got the round out of goals, but ultimately I got it wrong. Uh, into Group F, uh, it was the Portuguese Meister, of course. Yes, it was. Cristiano Ronaldo, 3-1 win in the end. A 2-0 for me. Uh, not too far off the money. And then wrap it up, the Germans were beaten by the France. The, of course, the World Cup winners. 1-0 uh, was the score. 2-1 for me. And as you can see, I did uh, okay. 50-50 down the middle. Uh, we'll see how that ranks in amongst the, the big boys. That is you guys. A uh, quick look at the tables then as we roll into match number two. Czech Republic and England are one step closer to the knockout stages. Slovakia, Spain. Uh, well, Slovakia, not, not too far away. Spain and, and Sweden got a work to do over in Group E. And then in F is Portugal, France right now. But can the Germans bounce back in match number two up against the Portuguese? Let me know your thoughts in the old comment section. Here we go. Well, here we go then, folks. Take a look at the leaderboard right here, right now. Now, these are the winners for this week alone. Just this small section of six games. Jacob S&A, Judy with the five. Uh, Matt Galon, Gunnar Bla Bazil, Ruben Thompson, Max Angardi and all the gang in there uh, as well. As for the overall leaderboard, it looks like this. Um, Jacobs uh, S with a 10 piece in Malhusen, uh, Hans Worst, uh, Jens van der Poel, and Matt Gunner with an 8 piece, as of course we get into it. Uh, I'm still trying to fi uh, find my feet with this, so we are, I'm just making sure it's all coming out slick and, and perfect. But right here, right now, I think we're all right. So let's get into the next round of matches. Now be sure to get these badges in there nice and early because they do get, uh, come in thick and fast. So get your picks in using the old URL, of course, the QR code, and also check out the description if you're having trouble uh, finding that out. And if you have any other snap let me know in the comments section. Also, follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, and on Patreon if you want to support the channel and give a, a show a bit of brotherly love over that way. Not that kind of brotherly love. But anyway, let's get off to the first round of matches in part two. It will be uh, a Spain up against Poland in a bit of a heavyweight crunch clash now, shall we? Of course, these two sides, well, Spain need to uh, show what they're all about. Meanwhile, the Poles also need to get themselves right back into it. Take place on the, 20, the 19th of June, which will be Saturday. Uh, Played each other three times since 1959. Three wins out of three for Spain, nothing for Poland and zero draws. The biggest win for Spain over the, those three accounts is a 6-0 win. Uh, 13 goals scored in total, which is around about 4.33 goals a game ratio. Meanwhile, the uh, Poles have actually got a 0.67 goals a game ratio, which equates to just two goals over those three matches. The Poles come into this just one win, the six, 42% form. Meanwhile, the Spanish are unbeaten in the last six, picking up three wins and three draws, which is a 75% form heading into this. So Poland, though, uh, will be up against it. The last uh, time out they played was back in 2010. It was that 6-0 win. It was a friendly. And uh, last time uh, Poland scored against... Uh, Spain was back in 1959. Quick look at the old bookies odds on this one. Spain are 3 to 1 for the victory. 70 to 4 is your draw. 8 to 1 is your long shot. Uh, quick look at the uh, the uh, outright odds on both of these two nations. Of course, Spain right now are 9 to 1. Poland are a little bit of a long shot, uh, of course, with their struggles. I'm trying to find them on the bookies odds. They're down at 100 to 1. Long, 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 long shot. So we'll uh, we'll see how that pans out. Going to go with on this one, the Spanish to just about nick it 2 0 in, in the end. Uh, kicking on forward, though, here we bloody well go. Where do we got? We've got uh, Sweden up against Slovakia taking place on the Friday, the 18th of June. Now, these two sides, uh, of course, Slovakia up with a win. Uh, the Swedes with a point so far. So 
also good. Uh, taking place over in the St. Petersburg Stadium in Mother Russia. Uh, Slovakia managed by Stepan Tarkovic, Sweden by, of course, Jan Anderson. Played each other three times since 2013. Uh, no wins for Slovakia, one win for Sweden and two draws. The biggest win, that one and only win, was a 6 0 win from Sweden over Slovakia. Um, and, of course, seven goals scored total by uh, Sweden over Slovakia in those three games. Uh, just the one goal scored by Slovakia in those three encounters. 0.33 goals a game ratio. Uh, the Slovaks coming to this. I'm beating the last six, though, picking up four draws and two wins. Meanwhile, uh, the uh, Swedes coming to this with a 92% form, which is five wins of the past six games. That only hiccup was that draw uh, against Spain. Of course, last time pleasure, though, was a draw back in 2018. Uh, looks like it was in Sweden. Um, so, yeah, how do we look about that, that? Sweden are actually 65 on for the victory. 25 is draw Slovakia, 15 to 4. They are your long shots. Quick look at uh, the outright odds for uh, Slovakia. They are actually still 151. Still long, 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 long shots. Could they be a Greece? Could they come out of nowhere and win at Sweden? Are 66 to 1 to go the distance as well. Uh, for me, I think the Swedes will bounce back. Uh, 2 0 win on this one. So back to back 2 0 wins in that group to turn it on its head. And it will leave Slovakia, Sweden. Well, actually, Sweden and Spain in the top pops. And of course, it looked like it, it could uh, send Poland home already. So that's uh, already shaping up to be a bit of a, a bit of an upset, perhaps. Here we go in the Battle of Britain, boys and girls. We've been waiting for this one. Hopefully, Scotland can put up a good account of themselves. Anyway, they'll be locking horns over in Wembley. Wembley on the 18th of June. It's uh, Southgate against Stevie Clark. Uh, Pleasure of the nine times since 1968. Five wins for England, two wins for Scots, and two draws as well. The biggest win for England over Scotland was a 3 0 win. Meanwhile, Scotland have actually picked up a 1 0 win not too long ago either. 18 goals scored by England uh, with a 10 goal return from Scotland with a 1.1 goal a game ratio. Meanwhile, two goals a game ratio for England over the Scots. Uh, Scotland coming to 58% form, uh, just one defeat to pass six. Meanwhile, England coming to us with 100% form, six out of six. They've actually won seven in a row. Uh, and the last five meetings uh, with England playing at home, they've won three and there's been zero draws. Scotland, though, have won twice. Uh, the last time they played each other at Wembley was a 3 0 in the World Cup qualifying campaign back in uh, the six, uh, 2016. Scotland's last win back in, two, in 1999. That's right. So maybe, just maybe, there is uh, a bit of hope for that. And that was actually in England. Uh, the odds are 10 to 3 on for, the, for English. Uh, 92 is draw, 9 1 is your long shots. That is uh, Scotland. Of course, both bookies' odds. England are 11 2, second favourites. Scotland are. Um, 350 to one absolute outsiders to go the distance as well. I want it. I want it to happen. I, do, I really do. But I've got to play, got to play sensible. We're going to go with another 2-0 win. Get on forward in the same group. It will be uh, the Croatians up against the Czech Republic uh, over in group. What is it? D. Uh, Zlato Dalic, the manager for Croatia. Jaroslav Šilove, the manager for the Czech Republic. Of course, play each other uh, two times since 2011. Just one win for Croatia. Nothing for the Czechs and one draw. That one win was a 4-2 win. Uh, of course, picking up around about six goals over those uh, two encounters. Four goals returned by the Czechs. So uh, a good account of themselves over the course of time. Two Two goals a game ratio for the Czechs over the Croatians with a 3-0 win or three goals a game ratio for the Croatians over the Czechs. They head into this Croatia 42% form. Uh, just two wins in the past six games without a win in three. Uh, it's back-to-back -back wins though for the Czechs. Of course, beating Scotland last time around. I'm looking forward to this one as well. Last time the pleasure was in the Czech Republic. Uh, or no, in fact, scrap that. It was in the Euros in 2016. It was a 2-2 draw. I can smell something similar myself. And, and of course, the last time either of the two sides win was back in 2011. It was a 4-2 win. And that was over in Croatia. Yeah, I do, I do feel this is a game that could go either way uh croatia i could i feel that there could be one of the shocks to go out at the early stage 23 to 10 sorry 23 to 20 is your croatia for the for the 23 to 10 is your draw 5 to 2 is your long shots uh, of course uh the odds for uh the checks to go the distance are actually 80 to 1 croatia are still 50 to 1 so reasonable odds on this one uh, for me though i am playing it uh close to my chest on this one and i'm gonna go with a i think i've got the draw that's right one one in the end and I think the only team out of that was probably happiest. Well, that will put the Czechs on four points. It will put England on six. Uh, it will put the Croatians on one. They could still beat Scotland to get the three points. However, if Scotland were to win, they could also get three points and also tumble out. Uh, so we'll have to see what happens there. Into the fire, back end of this group. Now, the back end of the old picks then, how shall we? We've got the, the, the Hungarians taking on, of course, the French, who've opened up their account with, of course, the win over the Germany. Uh, so let's take a look at these pictures. The seven times since 1964. Three wins apiece and one draw. Uh, of course, the biggest win for Hungary over La France was a 2-0 win. Meanwhile, the French have actually got a 3-0 win over Hungary in those recent uh, occasions. 11 goals scored by uh, La France, 10 by Hungary, which is around about 1.43 goals a game ratio. The French picking up a 1.57 goals a game ratio. They're coming to this 92% form. The French unbeaten in at least the last six, picking up five wins on the spin. The Hungarians coming to this in a 67% form, just one defeat in the past six games as well. Uh, Hungary, though, haven't won any last three games against La French. Uh, and they come into this actually, uh, yeah, three three wins on the spin and for, for France uh, the last time around was of course back in 2005 it was a friendly uh, last time in competitive action was in the World Cup in 86 it was a 3-0 win for, 
France as well. The bookies odds on this one, 9 to 1 is your Hungary, 11, 70 to 4 is your draw, a 10 to 3 on is your France on this one. Of course, look at the odds. France are 7 to 2 favourites. Hungary are 500 to 1. Absolute long shots. And again, I don't see them getting much out of this. Uh, I think it will be a French show. 3-0 in to take it. And of course, probably top the group and go through. And then we're left with another banger of in Group F. It is the Group of Death and it is Portugal up against uh, Germany on uh, Saturday the 19th of June. Let's have a look at this banger then, shall we? Place of the five times since 2000, uh, 2000. Four wins for Germany, just one win for Portugal and no draws. The biggest win, the one and only win for Portugal was a 3-0 win. Meanwhile, Germany picked up a 4 0 win over those uh, recent encounters. 11 goals scored by Germany, 6 goals returned by Portugal. Of course, Portugal managed by Fernando Santos, Germany by Joachim Löw, taking place at the Allianz Arena over in Germany. Germany uh, Portugal haven't won uh, any of the last four games against Germany, and they've also lost their last seven games. Uh, I don't know what that stat means. Uh, but the Germans come into this 58% form, just one win in four. Meanwhile, Portugal come into this 83% form, and that could be the difference maker. Of course, last time they played was in the World Cup. It was in Group G and another group of death. Uh, it was a 4 0 win from Germany. I think that was the when they won, they won the World Cup. That was when they were on tip top form. Uh, You've got to go back to uh, 2000 and to the year 2000 for Portugal's last win was a 3 0 win in the Euros uh, in Group A. Uh, quickly, the bookies odds on this one we have on this 23 to 10 for Portugal, 5 to 4 is your Germany, 11 to 5 is your draw. Quick look at the odds. On who's going to go the distance on this? Uh, Portugal are actually fifty to two. Germany ten to one. They're actually now seventh favourites to go the way. They were not. They were not bad against the French. They just got a little bit hard done by with the luck. And again, uh, France got the, over the line. But I've got a two one for Germany to get it and again, put it, put this game on its head, which would leave France on six, Portugal on three, Germany on three, all into the final stages, of course. And that's what I got going on for you right here. And I'll be sure to get your picks in nice and early. And again, go to the old uh, website, uh, use the QR code, and you'll be in the mix to go the distance in the prediction league. Thanks again for watching. Thanks again for subscribing. We're trying to get up to the big fat 25k. If we could do that pretty too, pretty soon. Also, a recap, I am uh, going to hope to return to the live streams on this platform soon. I've got a bit of a, a stupid copyright strike. I don't know why. Um, it's pissing me right off. It's frustrating me. It's put my levels up, uh, stress levels. But hopefully you can show some support. I'm going to be doing some live streams on Twitch uh, to kind of compensate that over the next couple of days. Maybe build that platform a little bit to have a little alternative avenue for uh, for uh, some connection with you guys. So make sure you go check that out. Check the link down below. Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, all that kind of stuff in the description. And we'll be going live over the next few days for the next one matches. But until then, smash the thumbs up, smash the subscribe, get your picks in nice and then I'll see you soon for the next, whenever that may be.